You ever heard of one of those places, folks, up in Canada where you go and you just catch hundreds of fish, one walleye after another, every drop of the jig down to the bottom? Whoa, he's off the hook. I found one of those places about three hours north of International Falls, Minnesota, Sioux Lookout, Ontario, Hidden Bay Lodge and Camps. And this is what we're after here, hundreds of walleyes, catching hundreds of fish like this all day long. This is a great place, folks, Hidden Bay Lodge and Camps, eight different outpost lakes, 10 different cabins. And in this segment, we're gonna take a tour and show you some of the facilities up here at Hidden Bay Lodge. And we're also gonna share with you some tactics, some easy tactics for catching walleyes in lakes like these. Let me show you a couple ways to hook a minnow on a jig and help you catch more fish. Plain jig head with no twister tail on there. Choose a little bit larger minnow. You wanna go right through the mouth and then as far back on the head as you can, and then through the middle of the head as best you can. That'll have that minnow ride on that jig head better. It'll stay on the shank of the hook, it's further up. You see how I don't have them hooked right in the tip of the, of the head there? And that minnow, when that walleye comes up and bites that minnow, it's gonna be hooked every time. Now let me show you a, a different way to hook a minnow on a jig that also has a twister tail for an attractant. Use a little bit smaller minnow. You're not gonna be able to ride that minnow as far up on the jig, and you can either go in the mouth or right under the chin and you just want that minnow on the end of the, of the hook. You don't want him far up on the hook because then he'll be over that plastic and he'll ride off to the side. Try to bring a shorter rod. You know, a six foot, six and a half for jigging is gonna be just fine. You don't need a seven foot rod for jigging up these walleyes. Now, if you wanna do some trolling for him, well, this is a bigger fish here. Let's get the net under this one. Oh yeah, there's a dandy here. One that likes chartreuse. <laughs> See that jig hanging out of his mouth, and that's the result right there. Another nice walleye on a chartreuse jig head with a green twister tail. And a quick tip for you, when you're catching lots of walleyes like this and fishing in areas with current or when you're drifting, put a little barrel swivel in line about two feet above your jig head. This will prevent line twist, put it about two feet above your jig, and make sure you don't reel that barrel swivel up into your top eyelet, you might crack your guides. All you need for jigging up these walleyes six to six and a half foot medium medium light jigging rod six or eight pound test lines all you need and you can certainly go with four if you want but that's going to be the result right there one walleye after another you know change your line at night if you think you need to if you wear through enough fish but usually six or eight pound test will hold up just fine dandy there during our tour of the lakes up here, we bumped into a number of the guests. One thing they have in common is they're all catching tons of fish. And they also make comments about how great the accommodations are up here. These are wonderful outpost cabins, folks. They sleep anywhere from four up to 30 guests. They completely stock the pantries and the refrigerators with all the food that you're gonna need during your vacation. You don't have to worry about bringing any groceries. You just show up with your sleeping bag and your fishing rods and you're ready to go. During our travels, we bumped into noted photographer, Jim Gallup. He's been coming up here with his friends and family for many years and he keeps coming back. Let's find out why. Love the fishing, you know, normally, typically uh, we bring up, I bring up about seven guys with me, so there's usually a party of eight. Most of the cabins accommodate eight real nicely. Um, we've been catching walleyes here, uh, just unbelievable. Fishing is more incredible than I've ever seen. Many times the four boats will get two fish on at the same time. Uh, typical year for us is between eight and 1,200 fish. Excellent fishing. I'd love to talk a little bit more, but the walleyes are out there waiting. You know, not only is Jim a great photographer, but what a walleye fisherman, and they cook a mean shore lunch over there. We were lucky enough to be there during their shore lunch, and we got to share some of the great walleye up, that they were catching up here. You know, you come up here, you're gonna catch lots of walleye to eat as well, and you're gonna fish some really spectacular bodies of water, folks. These are some wonderful lakes up here. A myriad of islands and bays that you can explore, lots of long stretches of water, but not intimidating water, water eater. This is a lot of narrow, uh, passageways. This is all flowage water through here, so you can maneuver and uh, stay out of the wind if you're a novice angler and don't want to travel large bodies of water. These are perfect lakes for you. And if you're an experienced angler, you're going to have so many different areas that you can go fishing. So much structure, lots of reefs and underwater points, long sunken boulder areas where you can go and jig up these walleyes. And it's just tremendous fishing up here and a tremendous number of different lakes to explore. When you plan your trip up here, you'll be able to choose which outpost you want to stay at, customize your trip for your size group, choose the cabin the type of cabin that you want to stay in and then when you come here you'll have that lake all to yourself during your entire vacation. Another dandy. Let's 
It's another one like we've been catching. A three and a half pounder, or maybe almost four, nah, not four, but it's another beauty. So fun on that light tackle, you know, just that simple presentation like we've been talking about, jigging a minnow, and that's the result right there, about 20, maybe 23 incher, 22 incher. Beautiful fish. You know, when you dream of fishing in Canada, you dream of having a lake entirely to yourself. And that's what you can do when you come to Hidden Bay Lodge and Outpost. Have a whole lake to yourself, and these lakes are all so full of walleyes, you will not believe it. If you'd like to plan your trip up here, you start it by going to their wonderful website, which is hiddenbay.com, or you can give them a call on the toll-free line, 1-800-FISH-123. You'll get information on all the different outpost lakes and all the different cabins. You can choose the one that's perfect for you and your group and plan your trip up here to Northwestern Ontario, Sioux Lookout, Hidden Bay Lodge and Camps. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.